for anatomy physiology biochemistry and for forensic i the one combined book called across i read that and um, for actually for the, for all the subjects if you read well during mbbs you attend all your university exams properly and you read for them it becomes easier to prepare for uh, pg entrance because the basics are already clear so now you have to just revise and just re read the little extra extra edge high yield stuff and for uh, path i read from sparsh gupta and for uh, farm uh, gobind garg and sparsh gupta for micro apurva shastri and for dermat uh, saurabh jindal for radio sumesh sethi sir's book that is enough more than enough and uh, for uh, anesthesia for uh, anesthesia i read the book uh, of my coaching institute anesthesia for ent for obs i read most of the coaching institute books and notes only and for uh, psychiatry i read pravin tripathi uh, for uh, ophthal i read a uh, book uh, soch by utsav bansal i found that very useful it's very illustrated and colored i liked it a lot and uh, otherwise uh, i'm really ashamed to say but i i was not able to finish medicine pediatrics and surgery i just did the test series and get, got whatever knowledge i could from them because there was very less time for mobile apps uh, the e medicos app is very good the maro also was useful they have good videos and good like if you are doing looking for looking to like finishing all the subjects in a very short time you you can do like a crash course kind of thing from maro so that way it's very useful the tests are also very good prep ladder also i used to use sometime and yeah help group uh, pgme that is also a very good like give daily tests of 10 10 questions so it you you can like it will do it as a time pass like daily 10 10 questions and you will gain a lot of knowledge from that like i used to study one of the like books for every subject for example for path as to see robins for medicine has to refer to harrisons like not read the whole of it but for example if i think that some topic is important i just look through the boxes and the important points in harrisons and the rest would be mostly just go through solving some mcqs and see what is important what is not then obviously the notes from the coaching center were very helpful especially the classes like it makes a base for you and then you can improve on it by doing some mcqs and going through whatever you don't know in the mcqs well internet is a double edged sword because you need to know what you are looking through is authentic and correct so what i would do is like i would to search something and then go through the research articles go through a few of them like just the abstracts and see what is given in all of them and then correlate something the club on facebook and stuff that helped a lot to clear some of the doubts and yeah if you are if you have some teacher or somebody who you can contact that's also very helpful to clear doubts apps uh, i used maro that's all prep ladder sometimes i've used so initially i had started with preparation for usmle so basic sciences actually i did from kaplan material usmle study material which was really helpful if you really want to do well in aims i would suggest you also go through the kaplan material it's it's really helpful for aims because they teach in a integrated manner so just go for it if you are actually targeting primarily aims usmle first aid book many images come directly from that drs physiology hosan sutter's pathology so even kaplan biostatistics is very good so basic sciences was only from usmle material ent i used buddhi raja psm park and rest all the standard mcq books finally a subject i did not do any separate mcq books i only did maro question bank maro question bank is actually very helpful if you use it properly you have to solve the questions and read explanations and then from the explanations whatever the, the new points you see just make notes of them and just revise them in the end so throughout mbbs i always you know made sure that i read standard books that is one essential thing i feel you know we tend to go to some uh, you know some other alternative books to uh, get something very, uh, get the same amount of knowledge in a shorter time but that does not help in the long run exactly so uh, what i used to do i used to always make notes of whatever i was reading it's much easier to revise and much much helpful in the future plus i attended my coaching classes which of course uh, helped me a lot the notes i found was were very good and is very easy to revise plus uh, the quality of those notes were very helpful in the exams because i actually got a lot of questions directly from those notes so that way i feel my my source of information 
completely stayed to what I have read during MBBS from the standard books from which most of the questions are framed, plus what my coaching institute taught me. Multiple quizzes, multiple tests on the go on the phone. So I could use, utilize my time while going out, while I'm going in the metro or, or while I'm feeling very bored or something. I could, you know, solve some MCQs on my phone or watch some of the videos, which would actually, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's very helpful. It's complete utilization of time and it stays in your mind if you watch some videos and all.